Good morning, Grand Rising, everyone. Hopefully everyone had a good evening. Great start to this morning. Good morning, Taylor. Shamari, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good morning. Blessings to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hey, Linda. Yes, ma'am. You made it. Miss Nikea. Hey, baby. All right. Let's move that for a second. I'll put it back. All right. Good morning, Kelly. Carmel Cancer. Naki. Hey there, sweetness. How you doing? <laughs> um, um, just a heads up, if you went back to watch um, the readings on YouTube, I know that the fire sign reading was like cut in half or cut off. I, my apologies to y'all. I will write a message on that YouTube video so everyone knows. I apologize ahead of time. I can't fix it it's just the way that the recording saved so good morning good morning hey linda hey shell bell good morning um and the reason why i guess i started with that disclosure is that we are starting with the fire signs this morning so i already know that your reading was cut off i apologize it's the way that it recorded i truly like i've said before i know people think like auntie crazy no somebody really doesn't want you fire signs to move on and be happy and I don't know what's going on. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what the issue is. Like, <laughs> but anyways, um, we'll be doing fire, then water, then earth, then air, okay? Fire, water, earth, and then air, okay? So fire signs, let's get to it. Maybe that's why Spirit has me going to y'all first, giving y'all reading first, because I just, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. So... Let's pull the Moonology cards today. Um, I don't even know if I've ever pulled these on TikTok before. Maybe I have, but see if we can reveal what's behind the moon, and then we'll get into your love reading, okay? Good morning, everyone. Sending y'all lots of love. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So I don't know if it's you or your person that... Just wants to feel refreshed, renewed, not weighed down, not having to follow anyone else's rules, but not being unruly. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like there's this need of someone wanting to break free um, from somebody or someone or something like that. Okay. I do feel like someone is wrestling to just be free or to just be true to themselves. Does that make sense to anyone? Even if it's like, it's not you, maybe you're already on your path, but your person may feel like, I just want to be able to uh just do what i want to do so i don't know what's going on with your person right now but let's get um three card spirit what's the highest message what's going on behind the veil behind the moon when it comes to fire signs and love and their person thank you mm -mm. wow well your energy is all out here i'll tell you all of your energy is out here wow not only that the bottom of the deck is what do you need to release i keep feeling like i need to let go of something I need to claim my life back. And I don't know what, what you or your person, right? Make sure you reverse the stories if you need to, okay? Luck is on your side. Ugh, here we go with the not focusing, right? Every time I'm on fire signs, I don't want to focus either. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Confidence is your key to success. And that's new moon in Leo. And a fiery climax approaches, that's full moon in Aries. This is all three of y'all energies. So, it, again, if it's not you, it would be your person needs to release something. And I feel like they're getting threes. Are you getting three, three, three? Or are you getting synchronicities of three? One, 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 two, 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 nine, 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 things like that. That's spirit letting someone know it's time. Luck is on your side if you have the confidence to go towards what you know would be a successful decision in love, in life, in career, whatever that is. A fiery climax approaches one way or the other. I do feel like that. Either you make a move 
and this success can come in, this blessing can come in, or you don't make a move. And this other situation then decides to, to move forward and the success comes to them while you have some other climax <laughs> approaching you. Um, let's see what's behind that. Hold your vision and believe in the impossible. So maybe you feel like someone, oh, so for those who feel like <laughs> this situation may not work out for them, they may be getting ready to do something very big and bold, like proposing, buying a house and putting someone's name on the deed or like all stops, pulling out all stops, the whole shebang, fireworks, you name it. Somebody may really be looking at making a big bang to come back into someone's life. If that's what you're looking to do, I do feel like spirit is telling you to move forward. You have the confidence and luck is on your side. As long as you release the past, you can have that fiery climax, okay? All right. Hope that's resonating for my fire signs. <clears throat> Here goes the throat chakra. Mm, mm, mm. And do y'all love my mug? Isn't this just the cutest thing? Like, I freaking love this. Shout out to my loved one who sent, who gave me this. I just absolutely love sunflowers. Yeah, you want peace. But all that glitters is in gold wherever you're at and whatever the situation is going on, you or your person. Let me see if I move my camera a little bit. It'll stop all this focusing nonsense. I love sunflower. Isn't it, isn't it gorge? Oh, my gosh. I love, listen, I almost bust a tear when I open that up. But anyways, I'm sorry. It's not about me. It's about y'all. Um, thank you so much for the, the roses. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's get deeper into this reading. Let's see what's going on with this releasing of energy. And I don't even want to talk about just the release because I feel like somebody knows what they need to release. We've already went over and over that more than enough times. I think it's now like what you need to do to step into the energy so that you can get this blessing so that luck can really start unfolding is what Spirit just said in your life. Um, so what's currently going on? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in love. Well, there it is. That soulmate energy is here. So we have soulmate and we have orphan. Someone wants to come back to their person. I, I can't make it any, and it's and they and maybe they it's their feminine. It could be the empress because they have an unfinished symphony with this person. I don't. What's the why energy? Oh, <laughs> so why aren't things moving? So maybe okay, maybe this person is wondering why you haven't come back, why you don't feel their energy. Normally we've gone through this, but this time I'm serious. Like, I, I think this person is, is wondering why whatever they put out in the ethers, whatever whatever energy, prayer, I feel like this is someone who has come back to you multiple times and you may not know that they like ask God for an opportunity or they pray or they, they do an affirmation. Somebody may also get readings on you. You may not know that. Whatever it is, it's like after they have this spiritual connection with source, with universe, y'all usually end up coming back together. But then this person ends up making bad this another bad decision. Whatever that bad decision is, letting family, friends, loved ones, or a third party in, you know what I mean? Or they self-sabotage. Some of them you end up getting them in a vulnerable state. And and every time it's like we get a little bit closer to that love word or to feeling in love or to making it a solidified, committed relationship, but then they end up running from it. You get what I'm saying? And yeah, and then you say that's and then you end up the feminine energy ends up saying, well, no. And you end up leaving and then they go to God again or they go to universe or they start doing their prayers or affirmations and you come back again. And it's like, you know what? This is some bull on line one. You get what I'm saying? This person is now wondering why it's not doing what it did before, because I really feel like this is the last opportunity. Like, I think spirit is like, look, you, now you're playing in my face. You know what I mean? I think universe is like, now, now, you, now you're trying to. Now you, you, you're looking at my, my street cred is being looked at now. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, universe is like, I don't. I didn't give you these opportunities and I signed on the dotted line. Now you're making a fool out of me. And that's, that's going to be a no. <laughs> what else is going on spirit? Exactly. Like I said, someone needs to make a decision. What they want to do is I do feel like spirit is like, and you better do it quick. Cause I don't know that that window of opportunity is going to stay open for too much longer. Um, I'm hearing that someone is hitched to, so I don't know if someone is hitched to someone meaning like actually married or someone's connected to something that they don't know how to get rid of. Maybe someone has a stalker. What else is going on here in current energy spirit? 
yeah, I feel like someone may have someone who plays in their face that they need to let go of, but they don't want this person to come towards you or cause you drama. Yeah, a change in the wind, right? Them moving on away from this person, right? I do think, so what's the truth be told energy? I feel like somebody wants to take their mask off, right? And move on in the here and now. So I do think they know that if they decide to make this change, right, and tell the truth, they do have to move forward. But I think they know that somebody may end up a little, little, little something, little, little nutso. I was, I was going to say nutso, but that's not nice to say. But anyways, they want to move on in the here and now for this unfinished symphony. Again, with their feminine, with the feminine that they know who they know who their person is. But I, there goes the time, the TikTok. They know they got to move forward. I don't know who or what is holding them back. If it's their own fear, third party, you would know better than me. You know your person. You know if your person runs around with back alley rats or if they're just someone who is afraid to be emotionally available for this journey. They're also having a moment of reflection with themselves. You don't know this. They're seeing how they caused dra more drama this last time than maybe ever. Because you, I'm hearing you gave me a, damn, you gave me a warning. Does that sound familiar to someone? Like, you told someone, I don't have no more energy for this bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, whatever you're doing, whatever's wrong with you, like, you need to get counseling. You need to get some help or something like that so that you can decide what we are or what we are not. And I feel like your person is playing that back in their head at this time. They noticed that this last time really, like, did a doozy on you. Either it really broke your heart. Um, it really took a lot of energy out of you. Whatever you did, you moved, you disconnected your energy, you gave them all, you put them out, whatever it was, they now know like, damn, I, I took it too far. What's the blind spots and blockages here for the fire signs? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What's the, thank you, spirit. That y'all keep going in these cycles because someone doesn't want to go buy the book. Like, I give me more cards here, spirit. Go into the blind spots and blockages. I don't want to keep repeating myself to y'all. Serendipity. Didn't I say those blessings are going to... It, they're all waiting in the balance for someone to just do the right thing. All of this is blinded. I'm sorry. All, they're blinded, right, by this energy that I feel like is just their normal life. The normal way to handle love. The normal way to go about whatever it is when they're connecting with someone. Like, maybe they've never seen real healthy relationships. They've never had to be vulnerable or... They're, the love that they gave was always conditional. They already knew that it was going to be, I'm only getting with you because I want this and you're only getting with me because you want that. But this connection here is not that. This is that soulmate, heart triggering love connection. And I think this person is like not knowing how to deal with it. Don't, don't, just doesn't know how, I'm hearing don't, they don't understand how to take care of it. But they got, I'm hearing, but you got to learn. There goes a leg up energy. So it's not like you haven't told them, I'm willing to show you how to love me. I'm willing to understand how to love you. Message in a bottle. Didn't, you told this person something. You damn sure did. And you were willing. I can show. It's, I'm almost getting like this as a dancer. Like, let me show you how to, how to do this love dance. But that person has to be open to that. And if not, then it's not for me. Because it's not a chess. Okay, thank you. It's not a chess game. It's a dance. So I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but I'm just, I, spirit just keeps telling me love is a dance. It's not a game. It's about positioning and moving and, and there's, there's a rhythm and a flow with love. It's not tactical. Okay. All right. Let me move into the advice. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. That's one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever said on this channel. <laughs> Higher power. What else is going on in the advice? Well, that ow, that actually hit me in the corner of my nail. I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Ouch. Um, <laughs> the chop wood. So you got to do, spirit is telling you to do the work. We've already seen that at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm sorry. With the Moonology cards that you need to go ahead and do what luck is on your side, my love. You are your person. If this is what they want, just go for it. Can I get a true jumper only spirit? I don't want anything just, oh, well, this never ending story, right? Can stop. If you open up to love and do the work, spirit and God is on your side. You ask for this opportunity. I keep feeling like you sent up a whole lot of prayers and somebody, excuse me, I'm getting hiccups. So somebody may have also asked 
um, their friends or family members who are in healthy relationships, healthy marriages. And I think I talked about this yesterday or the day before that somebody was saying to the fire signs, like, you have to be open to a mature level of love. You have to understand that this person is going to require more out of you than you probably ever have done before in your life. Because it's it's a different level when you're talking about marriage and getting engaged. This isn't just, you know, run of the mill dating and I'll see you, you know, at Applebee's at 10. Like this is something, here it is. You're going to have to clean this up. You're going to have to be mature. You're going to have to have a conversation. You're not going to be able to just run away from your wife when you get sick and tired of being emotionally available. So not only did this person um, get a talking to about how to treat you, but I think this person got a talking to about what marriage and commitment means. So if you're wondering, yes, they do have one or more good people around them, even though they're still in between worlds. They have people who shed the light on whatever, whatever these old ideas or old wounds about love you get me saying whatever that is, they have someone who who shows them like this is how you treat a king. This is how you treat a queen. You get what I'm saying? I just don't know that they're they need to be listen. They're still going back and forth with themselves, maybe about how to do it. How to open up. Mm, let's move on. Let's get some tarot. <sighs> Spirit is saying do the work. Clean it up. Face the face what happened. Be honest. And, and if this is really, if it's, if, if, if this is really what you want, that you have to be honest with yourself about whether or not you want that. When we have 77, either you want to stay with these obstacles and illusions, seven of cups, or you want to really invest in something, seven of pentacles. You have to decide that. This between world energy ain't just in those cards. It's in this deck too, that you don't know which, which journey you want to go on. And that seven of cups was giving me like, again, I don't know if somebody likes to go out or just likes to be free or likes to have options. <sighs> I hate feeling like a, a damn, what is it called? A parrot or, you know, hate feeling like I'm repeating the same story, but somebody has not made a move. And if you are the person who hasn't made a move and you want some more clarity, I don't know how much more clarity I can give you, my love energetically, you know, hit the like and send me some more energy, ask me some more questions, you know, through your spirit, man. But everything you're asking, I feel like spirit keeps answering. Just do it. Just release these people. Just go towards the love of your life. Just let it happen. I have luck and fortune and money and all those things on the other side at, in the land of milk and honey. You keep wanting to know how and when and why and this and that. And you're, you, you're walking on eggshells and you're not doing, you, you need to do the work. For that loyal heart i've given you a lot of messages about this i've given you a leg up and you just keep watching why haven't you exchanged gifts with gifts with this person you just keep saying all in your head so i might tell this person to go ahead and leave and find their own peace and take a nap from you until you're ready to go to distance masculine energy because you're not being flexible right now with co-creating this life and mending this person so that y'all can build blocks together you still haven't come to the edge <sighs> All right, let me get into the tarot. Y'all know when I get to the bottom of that deck, I'll be ready just to read it all the way through. I don't come on, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just giving you what, what spirit is telling you. I've already come to your front door and gave you a prime gift, like Amazon Prime delivery on what you need to do. Like, just get it done. So go further. Let me get a few cards here from the tarot. Thank y'all so much for the likes. It lets me know that I'm on the right path. Listen, emperor, listen, sir, sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir, because this don't have to necessarily be a man. It's just the, 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 the leadership energy, the person who needs to just stand tall, take lead of what they want out of their life. Maybe you are also very well off. So it could be a female that I'm talking about right now that has walked away and come back multiple times. It doesn't have to be a man, okay? But somebody is sitting on their throne, right? Yeah, like a Scrooge McDuck energy. Not content with, with all that you've been able to gain because you don't have, maybe you don't have the love of your life that you want to spend this time with. Come on now. I'm also feeling like the, uh, okay, they're giving me like king vibes. You know, kings back, you know, back in the Elizabethan era, you know, and, and so on and so forth. They can call any 
any woman from any land, anywhere, anytime. I think this person's starting to get very bored with that. The fact that they have the pick of the litter, I think they're starting to get very bored with that. What else, Spirit? Well, we have the Queen of Wands energy and we have <laughs> the contract card. So I'm going to pull something on this because immediately what I get is the same between worlds energy. You can either move towards this contract, this love of your life that you know, this twin flame soulmate contract journey, or you can keep running around with a bunch of Queen of Wands. So what's the Queen of Wands spirit? The Six of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Or the Four of Wands. <laughs> so I don't know if someone has dogs or not. But you can keep running into random people, females or males giving them conversation, doing online dating. Page of Wands is giving me very online dating, meeting up with new people, if that's what you choose. But then on the other side, right, you do have the opportunity of being with your person, but you're hesitant. Why are you more hesitant on that than you are on staying where you're at? One more for this hangman spirit. Why is the hangman here? Oh, you're afraid that they're, okay, this is the abandonment issues. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Spirit just said it's the abandonment. You're afraid that this person might abandon you. So maybe that's why you don't want to go towards them. Or maybe that's why your person, your person doesn't want to come towards you, fire signs. Okay. But when it comes to this old life, I think they're still okay with it. You know what I mean? Like it's no biggie to them, um, but it's just not fulfilling. It's not fulfilling to this emperor. It's really not. They want someone who's going to give them love and it could be a queen of swords. An air, an air sign, Gemini, uh, Libra, or Aquarius. And then we have the devil energy with the nine of swords and the judgment. So this person, so queen of swords, whether you are an air sign or not, queen of swords, I do feel like you gave this person some harsh truth when they were trying to give you love here recently of the last time y'all connected. And that's why I feel like they're now going through all they're going through because they're being, they're, they, the judgment done hit their ass. When they really think back about it, listen, the coffin energy, it's time. Somebody might want to make some moves before this ending comes along. I got to be honest. But the last time this person might have offered you love, it still wasn't fulfilled. And whatever it was, you really disconnected this last time. But I felt like you, you, you felt like you needed, you had to do it. For your sanity, for your heart, for your emotions, for your health, you had to disconnect from this person because they still weren't choosing you. All right, give me a few more cards here, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, frustrated in a relationship. This you, this situation was not enough. We didn't offer enough stability, security. But this person, and you either you're open. Well, I got to be honest. I do think that uh, the somebody that the person that was left behind is open to meeting someone new. We also have the clarity and truth at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and I got to be. Yeah, well, that soulmate may be coming your way because somebody kept you as one of many options. And this new soulmate may end up being your, your lifetime partner, engagement ring, some unconditional love, falling in love and an equal giving, give and take. It's time. It's time for you. It's time for you to have love in your life. I, I can't make it up. So if this person doesn't want to get on the journey, a soulmate's being ushered in. So be open to going on a date. You or the other person, whoever got left behind in this connection. Okay. All right. Let's get something from... <clears throat> your angels somebody's not too happy that i'm giving this message i'm i i want to apologize but i can only give the messages that are here my love i'm not trying to be rude i'm really not the bottom of the deck is gratitude but the card you have is trust while your logical mind is dictating a suppo supposedly clear direction your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path the logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar. Y'all listening? But you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. You going to trust auntie's message or you going to be upset at me? Because I don't want you to be upset. I want you to really think about what I just said. The logical path may be the one that you consider safe and more familiar. Didn't I say somebody's okay with this lifestyle? It's not fun, but they know how to maneuver it. But you could be missing out on boundless opportunities, right? And so much more. 
it's time. But if you don't want to do that, that's okay. Spirit will give somebody someone new who will love them unconditionally because they're in an ascended energy. So, all righty, fire signs. Hope that resonated. Hope that helped. Again, auntie, don't be trying to be rude, but send the cards. So, all righty. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to gut punch somebody. Somebody feels gut punched. I didn't mean to do that. I promise you. I come in peace. <laughs> y'all are so welcome. Y'all are so very welcome. Next up is our water signs. After water, it's earth, and then after earth is air. All right. Oh, I think I just seen private reading. Was that Courtney? Hey, Leah. Um, you can actually send me an email if you're looking for a private reading, and then I'll get you um, the link to my Calendly so you can see my um, availability. Just a quick heads up, if you are looking for a reading, I am booked up for this month. Um, I should have started with that. Thank y'all for the support. Like y'all are really amazing. Can I say that? Like if no one has t has told you, thank you for being you. I'm thanking each and every one of y'all for being here with me. Like for real, for real. Um, I didn't expect for all of my availability to be booked up this month, but I have no more availability this month at all. So I'm just like overwhelmed and very grateful. I'm not going to cry again. I already had my cry moment. So y'all ain't about to get onto y'all in her feelings. Um, <laughs> but I thank y'all so much for joining me on this journey. It's been, it's been a, um, it's been a rocky one, but it's been a blessed one. And I just want to thank y'all every last one of y'all, whether you've booked the reading or not, just being here and giving me your energy and supporting me. It means a lot. So thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. All right, let's get into the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces before y'all have me out here in my, in my feelings. <laughs> supposed to be a G in these streets. Supposed to be a thug. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't about to have me out here giving thug tears, okay? But I, I like seriously, seriously from the bottom of my heart, from my soul to yours, thank y'all. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sorry, yep, thank you, Spirit. Spirit was like, no, the moonology. <sighs> All right. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Let's see what's behind the veil, what's behind the moon of this connection when it comes to your love life. Thank you, Caramel. I appreciate it. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. One more time. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let me get a few cards here. Let me get three cards. Thank you. Three cards. What's behind the veil of this particular connection? What's not seen? Ooh. The energy is gaining momentum. Okay. Thank you. One more card here, Spirit, please. True jumper only. Thank you. What else is going on here for Cancer Scorpio and Pisces? All right. Well, that one shot right out. Well, <laughs> the energy is gaining momentum. Don't let your past hold you back. And your hard work is paying off. Um, at the bottom of the deck is a new start is coming. So I'm just going to keep it funky. Like somebody got packed up their stuff. They packed up their emotions. They packed up their memories. They packed up everything and they left. They left. They physically left, emotionally left, mentally left, whatever it was. Someone got tired of this. You put a lot of hard work into healing yourself, into finding a better new you, into rebirthing your, 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 I feel like I'm talking about a solar plex and energy. So that would be like your perseverance. Um, your self-esteem, the way you look at yourself, the way you look at the world, you know, having that confidence, stepping out and persevering what you know this world. And I'm hearing this world owes you, not that the world owes you, you get what I'm saying? But there's this level of, you know, spirit and God and universe owing you a lot of blessings for what you sold into other people and also into this connection, okay? This person noticed Something within, I'm hearing the last four to six months that y'all were good or spent the last four to six months that y'all were connected because they may not have been the lad. The last four to six might have not been a, because I'm hearing, no, it was a Rocky Mountain time. But anyways, um, so I don't know if someone has connection to Denver or not. But anyways, that last like four to six, possibly eight months, 
this person seen you grow so rapidly. Maybe you were doing prayers. Maybe you were working out. Whatever it was, they seen this glow in you. They seen this new you. You were holding yourself different. You were walking with more confidence. That's when they knew that you were getting ready to go. You see these birds, like I'm getting this. Oh my gosh, they're getting ready to leave me. I think this person knew. I think they may have tried to th either throw on their charm or throw on their, um, what do they call it? The words not the words not coming to me right now. My apologies. Like they tried to make you em like empathize for them and like play the victim. But we we love each other and we put so much time into this and we done been around each other and we did it like all this and it's like that's the past. That's who I used to be. That's who we used to be. That's what we used to have. We're in a different age bracket now. We need to put in some real work for this. And I just feel like this person just didn't put in as much work as you did. And that's why you have a new a new start coming. And yeah, those emotions ran real high with that person because they didn't work through their fear, fears. They didn't release. So right now it's you meditating and contemplating on how to take action to get your dreams popping. And, and what you don't know, wow, what you don't know is that love is coming for you. And it's going to be a win-win equal give and take. So this person didn't, I think y'all both knew y'all had some work to do on yourselves. So that this could work, but I don't think that this person did that work and they seen you glowing up. And I, I think it just happened so quick. I think they just, they, they hesitated. And next thing you know, you were done. All right. Let's see here. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, either you or your person. Yes. Open up to the positive energy. You know, again, not trying to be rude. I can only give y'all the energy that I get from the cards and what spirit gives me, but someone wasn't all the way ready. I hope this community card don't come out. Water signs, trigger warning, the community card might come up again. I know we've talked about their mom or their dad or their cousins or their best friends and being, you know, their ear of truth, but just bear with me, okay, my loves? <laughs> Please just bear with me. Uh, all right. One more time for the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. What's currently going on right now, spirit? Higher power. Well, God and universe. I'm also hearing um, if you have headaches, you're getting dizzy, you're ascending. Um, you're like your chakras, like your third eye and your and your crown. So that would mean like you're seeing things, right? You might see synchronicities or your intuition, right? It's on point. When you know you need to make a decision, when you know there's a certain thought that comes your way, excuse me, I'm getting hiccups. So I must be on the point. I mean, on point with this, but you may have gotten headaches or you just feel pressure at the top of your head and in your third eye. That's because your chakra is opening to your higher self, to your journey. You're making better decisions. You're finding when things don't seem right, energy don't seem right. People around you don't seem right. And you're like, mm, I need to leave that person alone. Your intuition is on a beam right now. Okay. So follow that. It could, it could even be people that you've been around for a long time. You just feel like, mm, your energy is a little off. You are, you're coming, you're becoming more of an empath. You can feel the energy around you. And when something doesn't see or feel right, like, yeah. So keep, yep. Yeah, poised energy. Yeah. Whatever's going on, you are, I feel like you're tap dancing through this next phase of life, even though it may not seem like it. Because it's almost like turbulence. You have these ascension symptoms. You might feel a little off in your energy, but it's right. You're following the right decision. So if someone's been questioning whether or not they're making the right decisions in this new phase, you are. Especially when it comes to love, okay? It is time to break out of your shell, though, okay? Make sure you, if you're looking for love, make sure you actually show love and not a grimace on your face, okay? <laughs> Don't be gnarling. Yeah, don't be between worlds about it, okay? Just walk on into this future, okay, my loves? Just go ahead and keep on going. Feminine energy, am I talking to you? Okay, you were open to the love that you had. Okay, male or female, y'all know I always say it. I'm gonna keep saying it so that all my males know it. You don't, it's not only for the females. Um, whoever was open to that journey last time with that last partner, stop being in between worlds about whether or not the next one's gonna be right. What the? You're getting ready to get a soulmate. This is the emperor and the empress energy, and you're going to be real happy, okay? So stop with the, yeah, there was a change in, in your journey. Wow, this is the blessed card, but blessings are right here for you, okay? So stop with the grimacing or whatever's going on. 
you're going to get someone who's an equal person, all right? It's going to be an equal love of a, okay, equal attraction, equal passion, equal care, equal spontaneity, e equal romance. You get what I'm saying? All those things, okay? Yeah, do, someone just said, I, I have been feeling sickly. If you felt like that or you said that in your mind, I'm talking to you. Yes, that, it's just been your ascension symptoms. That's all it's been, okay? Um, and let's, what's the blind spots and blockages? Okay, so some of you are still healing from the past. Some of you still, you may be alone or you feel alone or you feel lonely or something like that because this situation did not kick off. Like you knew that this person was either a twin flame or a soulmate. But in the here and now is where spirit is asking for your energy to be. Not in the past of what happened and not too anxious about what's coming in the future or who's coming or what they're going to do or am I going to have to go through this again? Like I'm getting all these questions like spirit, but are you just bringing someone to test me again? Because I ain't got time for that. And I don't think that's what's going on. I don't think spirit is trying to psych you out. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Take a nap. Calm down. Cool out. The last situation that happened, that was the past. This person decided, that person decided not to come on the journey, but it doesn't mean that spirits want to always keep you alone or lonely, okay? Yeah, I did say that someone may have moved because I have the two to see energy, which normally talks about moving on to calmer times. It's the six of swords, but then I also have community. So I don't know if you have a new spiritual community or you physically moved or you just feel like you're in a brand new vibration altogether. Either way, I do feel like you're not, I think these are more, blind spots, not blockages. You're not seeing that the healing journey that you went on has made you ready to move forward, right? I think you're still not seeing that it's time for you to release this wanting to stay to myself and these boundaries and these walls that you have so high up, right? It's time for this community, this new life, this new, in, embrace this newness, okay? Is all I can, can say at that point. There's a loyal heart. You're a loyal heart to this journey and spirit's gonna give you someone who's gonna be loyal to you, okay? What's the advice here? Fork in the road. All right. Again, y'all have you have the between worlds and fork in the road as well. So you definitely need to make a decision. Okay. I heard shed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Shed your skin. But with that, someone is saying that someone may need to cut, cut the grass down under. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. I don't know. I'm not trying to be, auntie, not trying to be in your business because y'all grown, grown. But somebody needs to like shed all of, like, I don't know if you just sit around in sweatpants, you haven't pampered yourself in a long time. You know, I even say sometimes after a while, my eyebrows look like two caterpillars fighting on my face. You know, get your eyebrows done, get your hair cut, you know, whatever it is, make, doll yourself up. And we also have chopped wood, Do Yeah, do the work. Come on now. Come, it's time, all right? I don't know if someone needs to clean up around the house or do small chores. So make sure you get your small chores done. It'll also clean the energy around you. So I don't know if someone has piles of clothes um, or someone needs to clean out some closets. Someone has already bagged up some stuff for Goodwill but hasn't taken it to Goodwill. Um, if any of those storylines are you, I do think that you need to go ahead and get that. It's clear your energy, declutter your house, things like that. Um, I also have co-create here. So you've already put in a lot of work for this situation, but faith without work is dead. So you've meditated, you've prayed, you've talked to the universe, you sat in quiet and got mindfulness training. Now you have to do the work. You actually have to doll yourself up and go out there and meet that person. You got to be out in the world to meet another human being, my love. You know, yes, you can meet them on the 5D but then they are going to be birthed into your life and you have to meet them face to face. So some of you may not be going out. You got to get out. Yeah, that that faded situation is out there, but you got to go get that treasure. You get what I'm saying? You have to go allow yourself to be open to the blessing. Okay? So in your time, I'm not saying anyone needs to rush because I don't feel like spirit is nudging you to rush. I feel like spirit is asking you to remain open for this love journey that's coming your way. It will be another soulmate. You co-created this to come into your life, but sitting in your home or staying in your bubble, right? Oh, thank you, spirit. Staying in your bubble is not going to allow this next treasure island to come in, okay? So make sure you're taking your... And you don't have to go to the club or to wherever. We talked about this. Wherever you go that you have a good time, you go to the trail, go run the trail. I bet you that soulmate will go be running the trail opposite direction and y'all run into each other. 
You like to go pottery? Okay, go do pottery. I bet you there's going to be that random time that that soulmate, I want to try this out and they meet you at the pottery class. Wherever you go, go where you enjoy because that's where you're going to find your soulmate. Don't try to put yourself in, in environments that don't house the type of person you're looking for. You get what I'm saying? Don't go to the club if you're not a club head. Don't go to happy hour and you don't drink, you know, and that's not your environment. Your soulmate's going to be in the environment that is the most peaceful and enjoyable to you. That's the, that's the best advice I can give you in regards to how you meet this soulmate or how you're going to run into them. You like to take walks by the water late night or something like that. Go ahead and walk. I'm telling you, that's where you're going to find your person. Don't put yourself in environments that I'm not going to say don't, but you get what I'm saying. If you're looking for that person, just keep doing the things and going to places that you enjoy. OK, outside of the house, my loves. Because <laughs> someone, um, does someone have, what is that virtual reality thing? I can't, the Oculus. I'll be in all types of worlds. Ma'am, sir, don't, don't make auntie pop you. Okay. I'm gonna pop your hands with that one. You're gonna, you're gonna get, <laughs> I'll be having my Oculus. I'll be all over the place. Like, uh-uh. You know what? It's a no for o Otis. Maybe y'all can meet someone that way. I don't know. I don't have one. You know, enjoy yourselves. But I do feel like you need to, you know, get out the house. Okay. The four of pentacles. So I don't know if money is an issue and or you're just holding yourself back. The four of pentacles normally talks about being reserved, keeping yourself away from things. And it could be because money is a factor. Go further into this message, spirit. Ooh, that was a mess. Go further into this message, spirit. The king of cups and the three of swords. So your person is very heartbroken. Very heartbroken. Thank you, spirit. Yep, they're all yeah, they're spending a lot of time by themselves also. This could possibly be your energy because the King of Cups is a water sign as well. So it could be a we had this a lot water to water connections. What's this four of pentacles though? The five of swords and the eight of pentacles. One more card, the five of cups. So your energy, I do feel like with the page of swords. So your your person could be watching you. Yeah, the emperor is still watching you. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to have that. But the emperor is keeping an eye on you, um, even though they aren't talking to you or haven't communicated with you. Um, they are still very, they're very hard on themselves about what they did. What they did, and I'm also hearing what they didn't do. But with your four of pentacles, I feel like some of you are holding back because of some of the, the scars or the wounding or the PTSD of the past. Um, Spirit wants you to, to know that it's a healing process, right? So again, not saying everyone needs to run out there and find love, but I do think that there's some, some things that you just maybe need to let go of. You have 55 on the board, which talks about changes. You've changed from this. You're no longer going to allow yourself to be succumb to these types of relationships, okay, my love? It is time for you to release, okay? Release that, that hesitancy of it's just going to end up like the last. As soon as I put in a lot of energy, as soon as I get vulnerable, it's going to end up like the last. This person, the next person is probably going to stab me in the back like the last. Leave me emotionally un unfulfilled like the last. Like, let go of those thoughts, okay? All right. What else do you have? Wow, that not enough energy is here. Self-sabotage, frustrated in the relationship, lack of confidence. And that's why you had to leave. This, this person wasn't, why is my left ear? My left ear is ringing. So if your left ear is ringing, this uh, reading is for you. Thank you, spirit. What else is here for the water signs? Have faith that love is coming. I, be, I don't be making it up. Cupid's arrow is still trying to hit you. Have faith, a surprise invitation or meeting. Like I said, you're going to be doing a hobby, working out at the gym, getting your hair cut, getting your hair done, shopping, whatever it is. You're going to meet your soulmate. I do feel very strongly you're meeting your soulmate out and about. I don't know if someone's been like, I'm just going to get on online dating because my, my schedule's busy. I don't think that's how it's going to come for most of you. Spirit is giving me anywhere from 75 to 80 something percent, 89, thank you, 89 percent of you are going to meet someone out and about. I feel like you're, let me say this, the percentage of you running into your soulmate is higher if being out and about somewhere. Just randomly that person walks up on you. That's the truth, the truth and the clarity. I, that's, I, I'm giving y'all exactly what I got. <laughs> and that's going to end up a part, it's going to end up a very strong partnership. I'm telling you. So again, in the past, I'm not even going to read the bot. In the past, somebody kept somebody as an option and stayed addicted to something until they broke their own heart with their outdated thinking. All right. Nobody got time for that. Let's talk about the new person. 
but I just, I can't let it go that you're going to meet this person randomly. It's going to be a, a serendipity. Is that what you asked for to have a whirlwind love experience? Like this serendipity, we locked eyes and it just felt right. And we went on a date and we've been together ever since. Like it might end up like that for a good bit of y'all. Okay. Keep the hope alive. Who's to say the blessings are on your side. Who's to say you won't have that type of love. Ciao, bye. You better claim it. All right. What's the highest message, uh, message that we have for the water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Thank you, spirit. Listen, didn't I say someone feels lonely or alone? There's the caregiver energy, which lets me, it's, I'm feeling more, even if you don't, I said soul, your soul family. So you may be meeting new people who are also on a spiritual journey, but you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, However, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family. We are your friends. We are your guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. They are your caregivers. Just believe. And when the time is right, be vulnerable, right? Stand your ground for the type of love that you deserve. And when you get those intuitive nudges, make sure you're embracing the moment. And if there's anyone out there, oh, wow, behind a father's love is a child's love. So if anyone has, um, wow, I'm getting uncles, I'm getting fathers, I'm getting grandfathers on the other side that want to send their love to you. Um, Marvin, Chauncey, Chance, Cameron, Leon, Lenny, Larry, Pauly, <clears throat> Marcus. Uh, Olewu, I, I, I hope that's some. I hope that's a name because I've never heard that before. But those were names of some of the uh, the masculine energies, the fathers that I feel on the other side. So if any of those names resonate with your father, grandfather, or uncle, they're on the other side and they're definitely helping you through this time. Okay, all right. Whew. Um. Wow, that was some. I'm getting military vibes, very strong military vibes as well. So if any of your loved ones on the other side are, are military and you are military as well and or your child, so their grandchild or something would be military, I'm getting a salute energy. So if you are military and you come from a military family and there's a masculine energy on the other side, you or your child, they're giving a salute to, to, to you, okay? All right. It's a, it's a plethora of of energy over there. I know somebody's like, well, how can they, how can it just be for one person? It's really a, a I'm seeing a land of energy of s s different uniforms. Um, so just, just in case, if you smelt their cologne, um, I feel like somebody's child has mentioned, oh, remember uncle so-and-so, or y'all recently looked at pictures. I'm trying to um, connect to how you would know if it's your person that we're talking about. Um, you still have some of their, their medals or, and, or their uniform, things like that. All right, let's move into my earth signs. I'm sorry, thank you so much, um, water signs. I started channeling your loved ones and I was trying to get as many um, descriptions from them as possible. But um, again, these are these your loved ones. I feel very strong masculine energy, want to heal you, want you to stay strong, whether you are masculine or feminine. Um, I do feel that very strongly. So hopefully one of those names resonated for you, okay? All right. Let's do earth and then we'll end with air, okay? Y'all are so welcome. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Thank you so much for your likes. If it resonates, go ahead and hit the like so that I can tap into, tap into you a little bit more. I appreciate y'all. All right, one more and we'll get into Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. When it comes to love and romance, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn spirit, what's behind the veil? What's behind the moon of this connection? Well, <laughs> earth signs, y'all about to have me laughing. I know it already. <laughs> Two more cards here, spirit. Let me get to thank you. Well, I'm telling you, ciao. Don't let your past hold you back is at the bottom of the deck. Um, prosperity lies ahead. Luck is on your side and emotions are running high. So these two energies are together and these two energies are together. So first and foremost, let me just let you know whatever you are planning as far as career, 
um, graduation. So maybe someone's doing some type of certification or getting your degree. Um, luck is on your side with that. I don't know if someone feels like their last project wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. Their interview wasn't as good as they wanted it to be. Um, they didn't have time to update their resume, but they needed to put that application in immediately. Whatever that was, luck is on your side. I feel like there's some type of fire, fiery passion or fire or passion that you have for this journey, this this job, this promotion, this career, this degree, this certification, whatever it is up under you that's making you hungry to have it, luck is on your side. That's why you feel like this is mine. This is my degree. This is my job. Like you probably already walk around saying, yeah, girl, because you know, I'm gonna start my new job in a month or two after they give me my offer. You know what I mean? Like it's claim it because it is yours. Luck is on your side about this, whatever this prosperity that's trying to come into your life. But someone in your past, their emotions are running high, right? And they haven't said anything to you. Um, we've already talked about this person. This person wanted to go towards their life and their goals and y'all both were okay with that. But I don't think that they're, really, like, I think that they're finally understanding that they're not okay with that. Like, <laughs> you are good enough and a time for healing. Yeah, so this person, see, so, listen, that you might be a Virgo. This person really saw that you were definitely the right choice, the, the, the right choice. I think they need some time to heal the fact that they surrendered this because under that is surrender to the, the surrender to the divine. And then we have the energy is gaining momentum, which is making me feel like you left. That's giving me very eight of wands. I'm sorry, eight of cups energy that you decided to leave. Um, but this person, child, I feel it. I feel it's like, well, well, yeah, but I'm not, like, they're talking to themselves like, yeah, but I'm not ready for love though. Right. Right. I'm not, we not ready. Like, no, we not ready. No, 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 no. We good. We good. We, we good. But I really liked him or her. Like, I, they was cool as shit. Like, I really could open up. But no, 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 no. We not ready. We not ready. Like, that's how I feel. It's this back and forth. And you just moseying on, getting your next promotions and living your life. Like, <laughs> you don't know that this person is up in arms about the fact that they walked away. Wow. Wow. My heart, is anyone's heart either beating fast or you feel warm in your chest? This reading is for you. I, I, was that the tower card? Listen, didn't I say you just as poised, praying in, all that's going in, feminine energy, and your person is having a tower because they didn't go the distance. They have a deep knowing that they should have said the right shit and or said yes to your offer because all that glitters isn't gold. They just watching you, hoping that spirit brings you around one more time for the one time. Listen, they holding on to that hope. They feel very orphaned from you. I can't make it up. That, so earth signs, this is going to be about your money. And I guess maybe about this person wanting to mend this connection with you. Because I think they're starting to really feel the pinch. They're starting to see the, or if, it, if that doesn't resonate, they're starting to see the void. Like they're starting to see just how much of a connection y'all really had. Wow. Deep. They're even saying, I don't even feel like this person is laughing to themselves that they put themselves because they've never maybe felt this way before. Like ever. Like ever, ever. What's currently going on? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What the? Oh my. Damn, cards just fly all around. Wow. Yep. Well, the feminine energy is here again. Change this whole situation. Um, I feel like you decided to go right because this person is a zebra. It never changes its stripes. I just felt like you, either this person told you, like, I am who I am at this point. I don't see that changing. Or you told them, I don't see you ever changing. Like, just accept that that's, this is where we're at. This person now has some chaos and conflict. They're wishing they would have changed. Wow, I never even noticed that. They're wishing they would have changed for you. A zebra never changes stripes. They damn sure are trying or wish they would have tried. Wow. Okay, I need another card there, Spirit. I don't think I ever had both of those. I don't know. If, I never looked at those cards like that before, y'all. Yeah. They want some peace. They want you. They want to connect with you. But I think this this peace card is more giving me you. Y'all energy is split like a mug right now. Like, you're at peace. And they're in chaos and conflict. Watching you. You, I, I don't know any other way to say it. Like I feel like things in your life are rolling, rolling well. I don't have any, like, y'all know auntie will tell you, listen, this is, uh, 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 excuse me, get yourself together. But no, I don't have that right now, Earth signs. That's what, they, the fates, 
This is what that person co-created for their life. This is what the fates gave them. This is what they asked for, right? Or this is what they asked you for. What's the blind spots and blockages? Oh, not a whole, no, we're not doing all that. Blind spots and blockages here. This person may also want to know whether or not you energetically feel that they're all over the place. They want to know whether or not, you know, is the twin flame journey or the soulmate journey so real that you can feel them around? I feel like some of you do feel them around, but you're like wondering why, because they said they didn't want the journey, right? So why would you be sitting at home trying to trigger my, my emotion? Why would you be at home thinking about me so much that I can feel you, hear you, smell you? Like, why would that be going on? Why would your energy be over here? You get what I'm saying? Ooh. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me go get this other. <sighs> Ugh. Orphaned. This person feels out in the cold from you. I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. So what else you have, spirit? Because they have a deep knowing of who you are, of what this journey should have been. One more card for the blind spots and blockages. Yikes. I'm sorry, sweetness, whoever you are. Well, whatever this person co-created, it, you said it was not for you. Whatever they said, whatever they did, however they positioned that this wasn't the right time or whatever it was, you ended up blocking the situation. Like, I don't want to play no more because I got a whole life, a land of milk and honey waiting for me, a lot of prosperity. Truth be told, if you ain't going to take off your mask, then I'm going to go ahead and just get mine for me. Like, I don't have time for this. And you got low. You, If that meant staying single and getting in your boat by yourself with your own business plans, that's what you decided to do. This person said they didn't want to get on the journey. What's the advice here, Spirit? I hate to be repetitive, y'all. Y'all know I do. I do not like being repetitive. No place like home. Wow. All right. Maybe y'all have moved. New, new apartments, new homes. Somebody lives in a tiny home. If you live in a tiny home, I'm channeling your energy as well. It's real cute. Real cute. Somebody also is thinking about doing one of those... Um, are those those tank, not tank containers, those containers, um, like the ship containers? Somebody's thinking about making a house out of those. I've seen those on Instagram recently. If that's you, I'm also channeling your energy. All right. Some of you may need to, to move. So you're thinking about moving. I think you'll find more peace and clarity in a new home. So maybe you and this person did live together or live near each other or something like that. Yep, there goes the community card. So some of you may actually look, be looking for a new community to start a new home, to start a new... And that's going to be where your treasure island's come, going to come in. Um, with this move, make sure you are going by the books, looking at your lease, looking at your insurance. Make sure you're also paying attention to those neighborhoods. Okay, so I'm, I'm channeling those who are looking for new neighborhoods to move into. Look at the school districts. Make sure you're looking at the weather patterns because some of you may be moving to the coastline. Look at the weather patterns as well in that area. Look at the traffic. Um, also look at like what the houses, um, like depreciation rate or whatever that is. Look at those things if you have not recently, but really big is the, the house depreciation, the crime rate, the schools in that area and the weather real big about the weather for some reason. And the crime rate, you can actually, I guess, dig down into, um, what kind of crimes have been committed because I feel like somebody's going to see a number and be like, oh shit, like that much be going on in this little tiny place. But when you look at it, it's like, petty stuff, like petty kids stuff, you know, breaking windows or stupid shit, you know, um, the thinker energy, the breathe energy. Yeah. Well, does this person meditate or are they on trying to be on a, a spiritual journey? They're trying to figure out how to be flexible to cut this never ending story so that they can exchange j gifts with you. Why? Because they know that you are a loyal heart. They know that you are a blessing to come into their life. So this person may be also trying to figure out, you know, how to bring in this energy so y'all can connect in the 5D and heal this so that that healing can come down and resonate on our, our bodies and in our souls. But at the end of the day, if you don't wake up from that meditation and do the work and put in the effort and open your heart, it, 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 it falls flat. Okay, my love? That's all I can say about that. But let's move on. It's not about just praying it in. It's about actually walking in it once, it, once it's here. I think some people forget that we are a soul, right? Having a human experience. What resonates in your soul, you actually have to move your avatar body to make it happen. You get what I'm saying? You can will in a lot of things into your life. Yes. 
but then those blessings just sit there like an Amazon package on your front door because you never opened it and actually used it. Okay, I hope that analogy might work for somebody. What's going on here with Taurus Virgo? Oh, Taurus Virgo and Capricorn, the Ten of Swords. So someone know, they know what they did. They know what they did when they decided not to move forward on this journey. There goes the moon card as well. Um, why is the moon here? Huh? Oh, seven of wands. They're, they're battling with themselves about what they did. I'm telling you, this person's in their head. I know this isn't, I hear this isn't what I wanted to hear. I get it, air signs. I get it. You want new love. You want new journeys. This person's trying to heal. Well, they're trying to heal with their empress, the four of swords with the empress. So what's going on behind the moon? This person's beating themselves up for how they treated you, what they said to you, that the fact that they didn't move forward with you, and they want to heal. They want to heal this with you. And the empress, again, empress energy. But you already called death to the situation, baby. It could be a death and rebirth that they're hoping for, but I think you're just, like, done with it because this person just, like, for, I keep hearing for what? Because they're your ten of cups. They're your Ten of Cups. They are your soul. They are your soulmate. Twin flame. They are. Eight of Swords. But this person's all in their head about whether or not you're going to welcome them back. There goes the eight. Whether or not they can offer you something and whether or not you're going to actually take it. They don't know. Five of, five of Cups behind that. They don't know whether or not you are. Five of Cups talks about focusing on the things that aren't growing that can't happen you get what i'm saying focusing on the negative and not the positive this person doesn't know whether or not you're going to take their future offer that they want to give you or whether you're just going to be like nah like and leave them out in the code again all right y'all hear me hello can y'all hear me okay sorry y'all i got a message so i needed to respond to that message my apologies for that but let's get into back into um Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Again, my apologies there, y'all. Taurus. Am my back, Jay? Hey, Jay. Good morning, beautiful. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Blue-Eyed. Thank you so much for confirming that, Blue-Eyed Goddess. Why do I feel like your face is familiar? I don't know. All right. <laughs> All righty. SVG, Grand Rising. All right. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You're so welcome. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. You don't know it. And I feel like the epiphany for the earth signs is the fact that this person really got their heart on to be heartbroken. Like, does this person even have their heart chakra on, auntie, to be heartbroken? Because this person didn't show no love, mushiness, gushiness when we... Not like that. Not for me to think that they sitting at home and like y'all are very, I feel like y'all are a little flabbergasted that this person, yeah, they're sad. They're missing you. They're unsure of whether or not they're ever going to get that. Whatever y'all had, however y'all had it, they're wondering whether or not you're going to ever give them another opportunity at it. Welcoming love and then the paradise energy. I want to pull that again because part of me feels like this person wants to have that option again. And the other part of me is like, well, you want to be open to that with someone new. You want to welcome new love, new happiness, enjoying a new person who's going to not, you know, be hesitant about the journey. Yep. This person's interested in talking. They're interested in being connected to you. But I do feel energetically, you're like, I'm interested in talking to somebody else, not you. Right. <laughs> because you stabbed me in the back. That's why we're separated now. Because you didn't do what you needed to do. Why would I get vulnerable when you already let me know that you're not looking for love and you're not open to love and you want to focus on career or whatever it was this person told you? One more card, Spirit. And maybe they had many options. Maybe they wanted to stay dating. Either way, you ascended beyond those obstacles. Yeah, there, yeah, there could be a snake that they're running around with that they need to heal their heart from as well. But I'm hearing that ain't my story and I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> I get it. Keep transcending, keep moving forward. Like, I don't know what this person's expecting at this point now that they done told you that they wanted to keep the lifestyle that they had, whatever that lifestyle means for them. For them. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. All right. Hey, Chris, Chris. Oh, thank you, Sarah and Chris, Chris for being here. I will put this, y'all know me, I'll put it on. YouTube, hopefully it doesn't freeze or anything. Um, 
but I will pull it and make sure it's on. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Okay, Jazzy. Okay. Oh, really, Jay? Jazzy, my mom says it all the time. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I didn't sign up for this show. Mm -mm. The Cirque de Soleil acts are at an all-time high, and I'm not even in Vegas. Like, I'm, I'm good on this, okay? Mm -mm. Nope. It's going to be a no. <laughs> Let's see what your spirit team has to say. The YouTube um, page is, wow, two cards? Um, the Healing Butterfly is my YouTube page. It's also linked on my TikTok page. I did fix it, so hopefully. Um, inspire passion is at the bottom of the deck. I think you turn this person's passion on in a way that they've never felt it before. They've had their body turned on, right? There's something about the, the mind and the soul connection that they just, they never experienced before. You have two cards. Um, we have believe the force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all, hmm, who you are is the power of your belief. This person believed their old ways was the right decision. And so spirit said, well, then you can keep that. And you can stay over there and we're going to move your other person forward. Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. I did see the card of hello from heaven. So I don't, there it is. Okay, I have the animal kingdom. I don't know if anyone likes animals or has an animal, but the hello from heaven card popped out for me. So if someone's missing your loved ones on the other side who normally would be there for you when things like this happen and or to celebrate your new win, because some of you are graduating. Some of you are buying a new house or a new, a new car or something like that. And normally you would, this loved one, I feel like on the other side would be there to celebrate with you. If you have seen, I'm feeling, I'm feeling insects. So like ladybugs, caterpillars, spiders, crickets that's your loved ones trying to say hello to you and it's also they're also going to be popping up on the day that you get the keys or the day that you graduate so be on the lookout for these insects because they're going to be around you to let you know that i'm, I'm with you and i'm keeping you strong as you continue on Woo. almost got a little choked up Woo. yeah so whoever would oh i'm getting chills all over my body if you just got chills that 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 meant you you specifically your loved ones will be there to celebrate with you, but I feel like they're going to be coming to you in insects and or other animals. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit said that the animal kingdom card. So it could be birds. Um, it could be someone's dog walking up on you out of nowhere. You feel like your your loved ones around you, something like that, a cat, anything like that. Okay. All right, Earth signs. I hope that that resonated for you. Thank you so much. Is it cold, Valerie? Okay. Yeah, if ever you feel like a gust of cold energy or wind coming through you, that's my thing. That's always spirit for me, always. Not anything to be afraid of. Trust me, your intuition will let you know if it's not a good entity around you, okay? Oh, Cardinals are, oh, Sarah, thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Naki. Hey, Alexis, all right. You're so welcome. Blue-eyed goddess, you're so welcome. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get into air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I have seen um, a huge, huge uh, cricket. I was working out yesterday, walking outside, and I seen this huge cricket. So I received that as well. Thank you, Valerie. I appreciate that sweetness. All right. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um. Why am I getting this song? Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Like, what does that mean for you, air signs? I don't know, but that's the song I got. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are getting ready to go shopping. I don't know if y'all are getting ready to go enjoy your weekend coming up. I don't know what it is, but it is such a light, lovely energy. Like, I'm just going to go frolic on the beach today. You know, like, I love it. What's? Oh, I got the wrong cards. Thank you. Y'all know I, I try to get the intuitive messages in first, but I love that. Okay. Oh, Marcy had a frog in her garage. <laughs> All right. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what's going on behind the veil when it comes to this connection. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What's going on behind the veil? What's not being said or exposed? I feel like I need to get a good shuffle on these cards because I heard there's been a lot of fuck shit going on. So excuse my language. 
Put your seatbelts on, ladies and gentlemen, and trigger warning. Trigger, trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger, trigger warning. All right. Let me get three cards, Spirit. What's going on with Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius when it comes to love and romance? I feel like I need one more card. I feel like it's getting ready to go there. Ooh, not the whole deck. It's it's the rudeness for me. <laughs> I just got <laughs> Okay. The energy is gaining momentum. So if you feel like there's things going on that you haven't connected to, you don't understand, like, in regards to love, you're confused about this energy of this person. You're confused why this person up and left. You're confused why things aren't on the up and up. You're confused about why love has eluded you for so long, right? Energy is definitely gaining momentum to give you some clarity, but let's see what's here. I have have faith in your dreams, work through your fears, a fiery climax approaches, huh? a time to give rather than take, Your dreams have a practical plan and a win-win outcome is forecasted. And that's the Libra energy right there. So I don't know if you're in between a fire sign and or a water sign because that's what I have. This is how the energy is, is sitting for me right now. You're moving on with your life. I feel like air signs. You're looking at, at practicality right now. What is in my control? I can only control my controllables, whether that's love, family, career, money. I feel like there's something about you putting more emphasis and energy into making the life and the dreams come true, right? Your dreams coming true into life. Thank you, Spirit. It's about putting all that energy that you may have put into love into making sure that you are stable and happy and joyous and peaceful and grounded. So all of your meditation, all of your hard work, everything that you're doing right now, Spirit says, is absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what happens or what should happen after a heartbreak or after, you know, someone comes into your life and, and doesn't uh, fulfill that role. You put that energy in the right spaces and places. I do feel like if you haven't gotten your business plan together or you haven't updated your resume in a while, there's something about that. So make sure that your documentation is up to speed, okay, or up to date. Um, LLCs, getting um, this, this uh, we already talked about business plans, LLCs. Oh, these are banking documents. So maybe someone is looking for a loan and or a grant. Please move forward and make sure that all your documents are up to speed and up to date before submitting it, okay? On the right side, I guess we're doing a you versus them reading out of nowhere. But on the right side, this person really needs to work through their fears. So this could either be, a, it could be an earth sign. It could be a fire sign. Um, not really feeling too much of the water sign, but it could be a water sign. So either way, it doesn't matter what that sign of that person is. They need to work through their feels, fears to give the love that, they're, that they've received from you. There's something about them being that vulnerable and it almost feels like they're under attack. OK, there's also a level of this person may have something that they need to reveal to you. I don't know what this thing may be, um, but a win win outcome is forecasted. One, if both parties do what they need to do. This is a situation where either you are in a twin flame or possibly soulmate union where you are not on the same page, same frequency right now. This person has to open up energetically. And I feel like you have to allow that person to do that. There's something about you needing to release. Right. Because spirit is making it very clear about you putting your energy on yourself. Send this person love, light, and healing, but you really need to just allow this person to either deal with their karma, if that's where they want to stay, or to do the work to heal. That's the only way this win-win outcome and this fiery climax can actually happen. Both parties have to do the work that's being asked of them right now. And for you, air signs, the biggest thing is to release this person and to allow them to have to just live in whatever turmoil and decisions they make, hopefully the right ones to bring y'all together, right? but you have to let free will be what it is. End of a tough cycle approaches and emotions are running high because it's time to release their negativity. You releasing any control or negativity that you have about the journey and them releasing any control or negativity in their life and or what they have about this journey. Both of y'all are very close to achieving your goal, right? But it all depends on free will. I talk about free will a lot because we can talk about what that person's energy wants to do, but you still have to physically do it in the 3D. Okay, so each of you right now, I feel like need to pass your own tests so that y'all can graduate to that next level. All right. I hope that that's resonating. All right. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Let's get into your WTF love reading. Whew. It's hard to release when that's your person and you know that's your person and you try to date other people and these other people, even though they might be 
more well-rounded, emotionally available, it still just doesn't feel like your person because no one can replace your person just like your person can't replace you. It's hard. It's not easy. But you have, you know, in my opinion, my maybe I need to start saying that. In my opinion, we do have to put our energy back into ourselves. We have to allow ourselves to still experience everything that universe, God, and source has for us. And if that happens to be another soulmate, another love journey, I have to be open to that. You get what I'm saying? But right now, I do feel like there's something about your practical plan. So whatever it was that you said, oh, okay, I'm once I move and I get settled, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. It's time for you to do X, Y, and Z. Open that business, start working out, start those classes, whatever it is for you, okay? You know your story. What's currently going on, Spirit? To, to be fair... Oh, Jay, we, oh my gosh, Jay, we did talk. So I love Jay. Jay is, Jay's my boo. Jay, yes, we did. We talked about this. We did talk about this. We did about the releasing, about needing to focus on self so that the journey can do what it needs to do. And that person can be triggered to heal because air signs, how long have y'all been on this healing? How many times have y'all had to look in the mirror and be truthful with yourself that you had this, that, or the third that needed to be healed and fixed? There were childhood issues that you had to look back and say, I didn't have no decision on the childhood that I was raised in. All I can do is make myself better from here. You went and got your counseling. You do your meditation. You do your prayers. This person has to get there. Maybe some of y'all have, I mean, also feeling like some of y'all have had some addictions. We're not going to get too deep because I'm not trying to trigger you. But you've been able to fight those demons. This person has to fight their demons the same way. Okay? Why? <laughs> Listen, y'all going to make me send y'all outside with a popsicle. But why? <laughs> I want them now. Like, this don't make no sense. It's, 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 it's the equal balance that spirit and God. So don't ask me why. Ask, ask God, ask universe why. It's, what's, it's the fairness in it. You've all, you, think about how much you've been through, my love. This person doesn't just get to get a pass with all that you had to go through. No, it, it, that, that's, that's not fair. That's not fair to you. Right. Why? Why can't they just come back? Because you'll just be in another cycle with an unhealed person. You'll be in another cycle with someone who's not emotionally available, not ready for the journey, not, not mature enough in their soul man to take care of your soul man. So I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you the advice from spirit and the insight from spirit that this may end up in another karmic cycle for you and this person. Yeah, they're your twin flame, but if they keep doing lower vibra vibration energy things, then it can't grow. One more for current energy. I think some of y'all are wondering why. Y'all think that this whole journey right now has not been fair to you. It's time to co-create the life that you deserve, my love. That's what spirit wants you to focus on, co-creating this life. Your dreams need a practical plan. Have faith in those dreams. Co-create whatever dreams, life you, you keep feeling. Yeah, there's a change in the wind. It's not, it's not fun. <laughs> By the way, I'm getting air, uh, rain again. <laughs> if Jay is still in here, me and Jay also talked about the rain. Like, let the rain refresh and renew you. Didn't I say there's a new life, my babies? Come on, come on and claim this life. I know this person was like, they were your twin flame. So they seem like your end all be all, but it's time. It's time, it's time, okay? Is it raining? I'm telling listen, I, I, may, I, I said this to, uh, to one of the, the nieces in the room. Yep, last night went downstairs in the storm. Yes, Jay. You get me saying, if it rains in your area, go and let that rain come up against you. And just thank God for the release. Thank spirit and universe for the refreshing, the rejuvenation that that rain is bringing. It's coming right from source down to you. Let it hit you. So if it is raining in your area or the next time it rains in your area, just ask God to release and renew you and let them tears fall down your face, baby, and release it. It's not easy, but when we connect with source, it could be a little bit more tolerable, okay? All right. What's the blind spots and blockages? Oh, it's supposed to rain, Sarah? You better go get in that daggone rain, sweetness, okay? You woke up feeling good? Amen, Jay. Hallelujah on that one, sweetness. I'm here for it. What's the blind spots and blockages here? Yeah, well, the soulmate. 
Soulmate's not allowed to move forward yet, y'all. Not yet. And it's the it's the masculine energy. It's the emperor energy that's being blocked right now because they're blinded. They're blinded by what they need to do. That treasure island has not come for them either. So maybe they thought they were getting ready to get a big payout. I think I talked about that before. Someone either went towards something or someone that they thought was going to be a good look. They thought they were going to have money, stability, clout, whatever it was that's also being blocked. And they're having a change in the wind at this time that I don't, I think I, someone said they're going to be blindsided. So there's something that they thought they were getting ready to have. And I think they're going to be blind. Yep. It's going to be another cycle for them because they didn't choose to move forward. All that glitters wasn't gold with whomever they were t doing some type of connection with. But they know that you were an unfinished. And you, yeah, you're in a, I feel like this is more your energy. Take, then I say, make it my way downtown. <laughs> it's like that energy. Even though there's an unfinished symphony here, you have to keep moving in your poised energy, my loves. You have to keep it pushing. All right. At least that's my advice for you is to put your energy, right? into the things that are making you happy and stable and grounded, your meditation, your jobs, your businesses, things of that nature, all right? All right. Whew. You get, and I do, I feel like someone, okay, Jazzy just said they did it out of spite. Whatever this person did, it's, it, it's, it's, it was like playing in God's face. It is not, it, it, I'm, I'm walking on eggshells just getting in that energy of whatever it could have been. I don't want to give a bunch of examples because then somebody's going to say, that's not my person. And that's cool. Whatever they did, right? I feel like they played in God's face. Well, the chaos and conflict that's going on with this person was fated to be that way. I mean, they called, they, fork in the road. One more for advice, spirit. Because all that glitters wasn't gold. So now the higher power is taking over. I don't make it up. All that glitters isn't gold is here again. That person stayed forking the road with you. So God's taking over. Spirit. And the advice is to allow God. That This is the advice. Allow God to take care of this person who's still in between worlds. Every time that fork in the road comes up, you're in a blessed situation. Spirit is about to exchange gifts with you, even though you are in a single energy. Y'all know when I get this card, that means for me, keep your heads down and on, on the plan, right? And do the work to chop wood. So you keep an eye on your person. That's okay. I don't think that. Now, don't get, don't be sitting in the bushes now. Don't be riding by the house now. You know, don't, don't go that far now, my loves, okay? Don't be no fool, baby. Don't be no fool, okay? <laughs> don't be no fool. Don't do nothing like that. Let this person go and let them keep on trucking. You get what I'm saying, outdoorsy? Let them go. Let spirit have them, okay? The high priestess is she who knows but doesn't reveal. You know that this person's under judgment. You know that this person getting their ass whooped by, by God. You don't got to stop by and see them looking crazy. You don't need to do that. Mm -mm. Ooh, child. All right, let's get some tarot on this. See what else spirit has for you all. And I don't even think like like you have to give up on them. That's not where I'm at with it. But you do have to allow this person to go through their karma. They have to heal. They can't come to you as an unhealed soul. They can't come to you with addictions and all of that. You've done the work, my love. You just, that's not how that works. This Ten of Swords, damn. This Ten of Swords has been out here all day. People have done some things, baby. Ten of swords, stabbing in the back, or just being left behind, or left out in the cold. This probably has happened more than one time with this person that they've shut down from you emotionally, mentally. Eight of swords, because they were all in their head, overthinking, underthinking. But you always, there it is. She who knows but doesn't reveal. You always have known who this person was, what this connection was supposed to be. <laughs> Excuse me. King of Swords. Hmm. Why is the King of Swords? I, well, that I'm going to tell you the truth. I feel like eventually you ended up telling this person which way to go and how to get there. But what else? Yeah. The Moon card. And the Ace of Pentacles. 
this person may not have revealed to you that they want to offer you something. They still want to offer you something. They still want to have a, yeah, they still want to have a victory with you. Six of wands. They still put you on that pedestal. They still think you are the most gorgeous or beautiful or sexy, handsome person. They do. There's some truth to, there's a lot of truth that they haven't revealed to you because they're still, they're still waiting in the balance. Which way to go? Two of wands. Who do I choose? What, which person or which situation do I put my energy into? Five of wands. So this person is having petty arguments or some type of something's going on in their life. Well, we already know that there was something that they thought was coming in, some type of blessing they thought they were going to get. The world card. One more. Or two. Okay, spirit. They want to do the work. You were their everything. You made them feel on top of the world. You may have looked at them and gave them so many compliments, like you're so handsome, you're so gorgeous. Like whatever you spoke into this person's life, they're now noticing like that they were able to carry on the way that they were for so long because you you really enjoyed them. You really loved them. As beaten and battered and bruised as their soul, as their person is, you still, I'm also hearing like you may have even like, what do they call it? Submitted to them. Not saying like submitted and became their slave, but it was like you opened up to them. Them, broken in pieces, soul not right, and you gave them the opportunity. This person wants to reveal some truth to you that they still want to offer you you know what I mean? Love and support. And they still have you on a pedestal, but they can't, for some reason, see things the right way. They still do things that aren't good. And this I, I don't know if this is an addiction. They keep going at an addiction or they just keep going towards and doing making stupid decisions. And they can't, I feel like they can't even figure out why they do what they do. Okay. All right. Let's move into um, this. Yeah, this person... It might be an addiction or it might be something they do second nature and they do it and then they end up in a, a tore up situation. I'm like, damn, why did I do that again? <sighs> I hope this is resonating and making sense. Oh my gosh, why am I holding whole decks about to flip over? Hold on, y'all. I really hope this is this is resonating with y'all. Somebody might have messed up the money with whatever this decision was as well. So it, whatever it was, I feel like they may have messed up some money or an opportunity. Like maybe they were getting ready to get a job, but they went out the night before and got sloppy drunk and, you know, missed the interview or missed their first day and they were let go or something like that. OK, maybe someone messed with someone at the job and getting sick and nauseous. So if you're getting sick and nauseous when I said that, that could be your story that this person was messing with someone at the job, a manager or something like that, that they thought would be able to. And not even that. I, I don't even feel like they did it to get a leg up in the job. I just think they were messing with someone. And now that person. Now that they don't want that person, that person's trying to make their life a living hell at work, like retaliation, but they can't, he can't, he or she, I don't know if I say he, he or she can't say nothing because they weren't supposed to be having a relationship with their manager anyway, you know, type of thing. Oh, not enough. This whole situation, it's, it's ego, it's self-sabotage, it's, you know, having a lack of confidence that, you know, you can be someone's soulmate, you know, like this person doesn't even think that they're good enough to be anyone's soulmate. I gotta keep it funky for you, Air Signs. This person is just kind of getting down on themselves. Yep, so they could. They could be addicted to hooking up or they like to have multiple parties or they just like to, that seduction type energy. Wow. They do want to talk to you, right? Whatever they did, they know that it was a shocking, a shocking change and an upheaval of whatever, that, that change in the wind energy. They do want to talk to you, right? Because they have faith that one day y'all could still be married, that y'all could still be connected. But let me get into new energy. Because, okay, well, spirit said no in new energy. This is your twin flame. Okay. They just need to take their mask off and show that they really love you. And that they want to evolve this to the next phase. They keep an eye on you and they, they I always get this. Somebody has some old pictures or old text messages that they keep. They want to rekindle this to the next situation. They will chase you energetically, but they got to get rid of this addiction, right? We talked about that and make healthier choices first. So this person can't come back with this addiction energy. They have to make healthy choices, self-love, self-care, shadow work. But energetically, you still feel them around because this is your twin flame. But they're still wearing that mask. Okay. All right. Let's get something from your angels. All right. 
one more time. Thank you, Spirit. Y'all are so welcome. And I know I'm not telling, I'm not giving everyone the fairy tale Disney story right now, but this person has to do the work. You are twin flames. You trigger each other so that your souls can become wiser, can let go of, you know, past life lessons and things of that nature. If they haven't done that, then they don't resonate with you. Right? Yeah, it's almost like, you know, you're you're at your doctorate level and they just got their bachelor's. Not not talking about anyone, but just saying you're not at that level where they can perform surgery. So they can't be in the surgery room with you. They can't go on to that next phase. They have to go into the next college, the next lesson, before they're ready for you, okay? All right, let's see here. You keep getting because you haven't reached out first. Okay, I'm gonna tack, I'm gonna tackle that in a second. But ground yourself, listen. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded, my love. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. This is frustrating. You're tired of it. It's just distracting to a level. Let it go, my loves, okay? That's all I'm saying. Spirit has it under control. Caregiver, we are with you, and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others especially at the end of their lives, just as you receive care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. Let spirit take care of you as much as you've taken care of this person and other people in your life. Let spirit take care of this one for you. Ground yourself. Give yourself love. You have gained a lot of ancestral wisdom, and there is a mother on the other side that is giving you support when it comes to relationships. So find your center in all of this, okay? We have a lot of mothers and father energy coming. Gloria, Claudia, Shayna, Shelly, Michelle, Tina, Trina, Angela, uh, Alswa or Alsa or Asa or something like that. These are names possibly of Wanda. Any other names? Okay. Laura, Landra, Landley. Is that a last name? Landley might be a last name. So your mother's on the other side. Um, definitely want to continue to give you the healing that you need. Find your center. Don't allow this situation to get you down. Yes, you're in a twin flame journey. It means a lot to the ethers and to God and to source and to you. But you have to allow this person to get on the journey, okay, and do the work themselves. You can't force the work. You can't give them your, your cliff notes or cheat sheet. It's not like that. You can send them love. You can send them healing. But you have to allow them to go through the phases the same way you had to go through your phases, okay? <sighs> I hope that that um, was able to give you some insight, my love. Um, as always, y'all know I will pull this for uh, YouTube, so make sure you're following me there. Um, still got the, the mothers around me, very heavy. I don't know if someone hasn't cooked at home for a while and you know that your family, are y'all cook or y'all are like farm people, so y'all are used to like slaughtering pigs and things like that from the farm and eating fresh from the farm. But somebody's, I'm hearing more of a grandmother or great grandmother wants you to start eating fresh. Get some of them veggies in you is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if someone's been eating out a lot and not cooking at home, or you enjoy cooking at home, but invite your, your loved ones into that space, especially your grandmothers and great grandmothers. They would love to, you'll see, okay, thank you, spirit. You'll see the lights flicker. Um, you may hear like a seasoning fall over out of nowhere or um, a thump or a knock. That's how you'll know that your loved ones are with you. Um, and specifically like your grandmothers and great grandmothers who wanna come into the kitchen and help you cook. Okay, so I hope that resonates with someone. All right, y'all. I got to get out of here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself and mind, body, and soul. And uh, again, don't let the journey, the love journey get you down, okay? If nothing else, find that place of peace or that place of energy, you know, working out, going on a roller coaster, going to the beach, going to the woods, whatever it is, get outside of that energy as soon as possible. Don't let it sit on you too heavy, okay? Sending y'all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. 
And until next time, namaste and peace. Yes, this will be on YouTube. So uh, y'all are so welcome. Y'all are so very welcome. Sending y'all so many love and healing vibes. Yes, it will be on YouTube later. The Healing Butterfly, if you're not already following me. Sending y'all lots of love and healing. Thank you so much, each and every one of y'all. Y'all know Auntie La, y'all. All right, niece and nephews, gotta go. <laughs> Peace.